of this distorted thought might be. How you doing? I'll give it a whack. Literally.
Sorcerer's Secret. My knight, brave Sir Thaddeus, hath disappeared upon the very hour of our mated check. But the Blackheart King must pay for his insults upon the personage of our beloved queen. I beseech thee, find our missing knight. Wheresoever went that wayward knight, Zane shall seek and scour. Am I doing this right? Nay. Indeed, I will not have my honor besmirched by a lowly creature such as he. Now, fair warrior, if thou should find our errant champion, do relay that his noble queen longs for his triumphant return. If thou wishest to hurry forth, then seeketh thou clues as to our lost soldier's whereabouts. But if thou wouldst tarry a moment and hear the tale of our kingdom's woes, then speaketh unto me. So you wish to learn more, then let me begin. You don't actually have to stay for this, by the way. He does go on. This battle against the Blackhearts hath raged forever and a day, it would seem. Move and countermove, Sicilian defense and en passant. We've lost many a brave warrior upon this checkered field of battle. Indeed, but we did not start this war. Hold on, don't the white pieces make the first move? Doesn't that mean that you did start it? Ah, yes. While that is technically true, the Blackhearts really had it coming. Their banditry hath terrorized these lands since time immemorial. But the final straw, as it were, was when we received word that the foul Blackheart King said the most unkind things about our fair queen. Oh, sure, you know. You gotta nap the smack talk out of his mouth for a thing like that. To be clear, he started it. So, naturally, we went to war. Uh, for the good of the people. Then the lands, of course. And also because he is a bully. And bullies have no place in this world. They're mean and nobody likes them. So we will fight them. Indeed. But just between us, I'm actually... It's not my fault. I have bad knees, but I say this truly. I can kill any man who stands within a short distance of me. Ha! Yeah, yeah, bad knees. I get it. Anyway, I'm off to find the knight. Your efforts shall be rewarded. Look at that! Some carrots. Carrot remnants of a certain tomb. Thaddeus must wait upon the terminus of such said trail. Seek him out. What makes you say that? Why carrots? It must be the equine part of him. Specifically his head. Horses love carrots. Does not everyone know that? Uh, no. Not common knowledge, far as I know. I see. Not everyone grew up in a castle, dear king. Let's have a chat, shall <laughs> Oh. Hey, 
86 doors, Prince! Looking for a fella named Thaddeus. Is that you? <laughs> Sorry, didn't catch that. Ah, thou dost not hail from these lands, and must not know the Chessian tongue. Luckily, I know yours, and in this base language, I must say something of such great urgency that I cannot delay but for one more moment in relaying the content of this warning to thee, my lord. <laughs> thou must flee this place post haste. For the dreaded rook known as Mokdan Urgash shall return ere long, seeking violence, no doubt. Tis as I feared. He comes! Steal thyself. <laughs> Right for egress, thou must free me. I am ever in thy debt, thou mighty slayer of rooks. Come, let us depart from this foul place at once. So, how would you end up in that lockbox? Alas, the shame of capture is outweighed only by my shame at the impetus for my departure. The violence, the bloodshed, the moving in L-shaped patterns, it all got to be too much. So I deserted, to follow mine heart's true desire. Dance! Come off it, you're pulling me leg. Would that I were, but alas. When Mokdan Urgash came upon me, I challenged him to a dance-off to win my freedom. He laughed mercilessly as I expressed my innermost truth through the art of movement. Then he beat me onto the brink of sense and imprisoned me. Well, of course that didn't work. Indeed. Now I have but one choice. To throw myself upon the judgment of the king and seek his mercy. Come, tis not far now. You return with our beloved Thaddeus. It warms my heart to see thy countenance again, brave Sir Knight. Wouldn't be so sure on that brave bit. Why dost thou say such a thing? Speak plainly. He doesn't want to fight anymore. He'd rather dance up a storm. I see. I understand, Sir Thaddeus. I too have certain passions that I would have pursued were my life to have taken a different path. But the skirmish must continue. Thou, who hast proven thyself most brave and capable, wouldst thou take Sir Thaddeus' place upon the field of battle? Ah, sure, why not? Just 
terror is no more. And also, he shall never again spew such foulness about anyone, especially me. Now come, brave warrior. Address your king. I was born for this, literally. I, as ruler of these lands, wish to bestow the highest honor upon thy brow. Kneel, if thou wouldst receive it. In recognition of thy deeds this day, henceforth ye shall be known as a knight of the realm. Rise now in glory. Sir Zane, I like the sound of that. Thou art always welcome in our lands. And wheresoever thy travels may lead, thou hies with the blessing of the queen. Fare thee well, brave knight. Now, as for thee, Sir Thaddeus, what am I to make of this? Please, my liege, I beg your mercy. In my chest beats the heart of an artist, not that of a fighter. Death is my one true calling. Tis my destiny! My lord, perhaps he deserves a chance to prove himself. Hmm. I suppose I would be remiss if I didst not, at very least, witness thy talents with mine own eyes. Commence to dancing. Oh, yes, of course, my liege. Jazzers. My word. Never have I witnessed such elegance, such poise. It's beautiful. Sir Thaddeus, thou hast moved me. Let it be known across the land that he who was once Sir Thaddeus shall henceforth be recognized as Dance Master Thaddeus. Gratitude, my liege. I will not fail thy name in this most vital position. Be sure that thou dost not. has unfinished business in this memory. Go see if you can help him. to it. For the record, I will still be monitoring your every move.
Tough stuff right here. your sanity. Think of this as something like an ink blot. Of course, we don't have squid murk or ink, really, so we'll have to make do with what we got. Some blank walls and a lot of oil. A twirling supply, sir! sure he's calling your answer predictable. Rand again! Thank you! Maybe dig a little deeper this time. Spill your eyeballs on the wall! Now I see your man. Where's the meat? I mean, that's slightly better, but barely. Remember whose mind you're running through. Give us something with, to use his words, some meat on it. Rain down the murk! Spill your eyeballs on the wall! I see a room that seriously needs a new paint job. Ha! <laughs> but yeah, I'll have to find a place to get a better look. Assume you want me to spill me eyeballs, yeah? Mm, spill your eyeballs on the wall! 
Yeah, I thought so. Okay, fine. <gasps> right, I see two of me looking at each other. And we're just beautiful. The marbles are all baked! Some meat, but no fruits! He has decided you are sane, and to be blunt, a little dull. But you can't expect him to find sanity very exciting. The good news is, you pose no threat, and you may leave in peace. Is he the most credible? Or the least credible person to make that determination, I wonder? Tell me what you got, little boy! Forward to the bell. Spent a lot of time in this hall, uh, staring at these blank walls or walking across the cold floor dreading what was gonna happen next. Now that the big guy's free of his cage, he's got some ideas about how to change the decor and our feelings about this place. This place is a dump for sure. I suppose there's nowhere to go but up. What do you need? Screening the hem with our vileness. No other! Yeah, that's a good place to start. Whoever was here before us left some really creepy art on the wall. Can you help get rid of it? At night, I swear there are voices coming from that spot. All day we obsess about whether it hears us too. I think you are right, boyo. You have got some kind of infestation. Trap the rats outside! I'm pounding the swallowed! Drop in, lads! I think we're headed into a skirmish. You better keep going or we'll never be able to sleep again. Well, I feel vindicated. We weren't wrong. There were voices inside the walls listening and planning our demise. I mean, uh, great foliage? I mean... Nah, you get it. But, uh, where did that plant come from? Tawanda! Come again, boyo? We 
called our last friend in this place Tawanda. She was someone to talk to. She made us feel safer. A warm taster to chomp my mind at a time. Tawanda! Thank you. Tawanda will be good company. Sometimes good things come from bad places, like possessed walls. And if she can survive in here, it's a reminder that we can too. There, theme walls in the wee tree. Place looks great, right? A great chasm. Open your fist and ply the exploits. Pretty sure he has some other ideas. Uh, this place is looking pretty nice. What else do you need? Like a smart fish screams. <sighs> drown them. Drown them dry. Every night our neighbor sings. Not only does he keep us up, but he's a terrible singer. <sighs> I'd be lying if I said I hadn't spent countless nights fantasizing about his demise. Yes. Yes. Drown. I'll go and talk some sense into him. Won't you hear my plea? Oh, come save me from this misery. Somebody let a banshee loose in here. Do you perhaps have another key you could sing in there, lad? The days are dreary without my sweetie. Oh, please save me, my darling. Uh, Aye! You're gonna bust me eardrums with your wailing! You won't kindly shut up on your own accord. I'm gonna have to force your jaw shut. Come at me. Or we can have a brawl, sure. Have it your way. Mercy, mercy. I'm sorry, I overreacted. We're saving this for you. I shouldn't have come at you like that. My rage overcame me. I know my singing isn't perfect, but it's one of the few things that gets me through the day. No worries, boyo. Now that it's all out of your system, can I ask that you keep the singing to a minimum for our shared pal, Creedy? Yes, quite right. Listen, as an apology for my behavior, will you give Krieg something for me? I smuggled in these party lights. I'd like him to have them as a peace offering. Yeah, Grant. Oh, one more thing before you go. Let Krieg know I've been working on a batch of toilet wine. When it's ready, he can come have a taste. Hey, whatever gets you through the day, I let him know. Blister bulbs! Right-ho. He's also making you some toilet wine. I can hardly wait. My liver is alive with bile. Honestly, I feel like an ass. Edric isn't all bad. It's just easy to perceive everyone as a threat when you're in a threatening place. These lights and the, uh... Boot drink! Will remind us to hold on to our belief in human goodness. And look, the party lights really do cheer up the place. The music, on the other hand, really clashes with the new vibe. Bum, 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 chica, chica, chica. Sure, yeah, like that. Do you think it could help change the song to something a little less impending doom and a little more? Chica, 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 chica. Great. Any idea how I do that? 
There's an intercom hooked up to the computer system near the caretaker's office. You can use this to change the music. Here. That's a memory of us enjoying the music. If you insert it into the computer, you should be able to reinstall the playlist. Here we are. Time to hack into the mainframe, or whatever. This place has a party mode. What the hell for? <laughs> that did the trick. They only ever played this music into the cells one time. It must not have had the desired effect. Shake a chick, shake a chick, music to scum to. What can I say? We love ska. Hearing it makes us feel hopeful. That feeling could change so much here. Trip the light and it dances away. I'm a bit worried, though. About the toilet wine? I bet your guts are strong enough, though. About the caretaker. Loaded and horned, he chews cud. Yeah, he's a real piece of work. And the next time he conducts a surprise inspection, he'll destroy all the changes we've made. And worse. It's bleeding time! I agree. The best choice is to kill him. We can keep our new things and kick him out of our headspace for good. <laughs> he spends most of his time in his office, though. Can you go there and give him a reason to leave it? Trust me, boy -o. I'm never not trying to make a scene. Stain his similarity with gusto! Good idea. The caretaker is incredibly vain. If you vandalize the portrait outside his office, that should get his attention. Take it from a good-looking man like me. That's an improvement. Officers, it appears we have a brick. Patients out of their cell. What exactly am I paying? Take care of them. Ferocity. Then ferocity today. Imagine you didn't come here just to deface my portrait, did you? No, but your ugly mug was distracting me, so I gave it an upgrade. And I'm just getting started. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now you look like a right Aegis. <laughs> Go on then! Till you see it. You're gonna love it! This is 
is personal now. Almost a shame to kill you now. You look so fancy. Pretty chuffed with how I improved that portrait. Think I'll bring it back to Cree. Yeah, this'll look nice in there. Not to share with you. You should have seen the look on his face when he came out of that room. Oh, oh think of it. You can! It was this face! The stash and all! I wanna rip your lungs out so hard! I've been hiding from the memories of this place for so long. Now, it's full of reminders about how we survive. Don't get me wrong, this place will never fill me with joy. But at least now it doesn't have to haunt me. Thank you.